Right, I'm having some trouble with my EcoFlow Delta Max. It was working fine for about a year, and then all of a sudden, last time I charged it, it stopped working, and now it won't turn on or do anything. Um, so I'm going to pull it apart today and see if I can figure out what's going on. The battery was in pretty good condition still because it still had plenty of power and capacity. Possibly just a dead cell or something or fuse. They just sent me another one, a new one, under warranty. So uh, nothing to lose by pulling it apart and see, seeing what's going on. There's screws under there, so okay, just pull that off. Nothing, nothing there. So that says PV. So that's probably from the charger. Yeah, yeah it is. Okay, so charging input from there to there. So it looks like this handles the charge, this top board. those fans off there's no obvious blown components there all looks pretty good There's actually a green light flashing there. Hmm. What's that about? Could be a blown fuse or something. That looks like a fuse there, is it? Let's test that. Let's see if there's any voltage in that first. Oh uh, yeah, there is a voltage there. Minus 35 volts. Same on the other side, so I think that's okay. Mm -hmm. Never going to be that easy. We'll test these terminals here and see if there's any juice in the battery. So it's showing two volts there. Um, there must be a relay further down that lets the power through, I'm guessing. This is the extra battery input. Yeah, that's only saying one volt. But there might be a relay there that um, a contact of it turns it on. No. Maybe there's a bad cell on the battery. That's we'll keep on digging and see what we can find. Ah, there we go. Nine volt there. Nothing there. Nothing there. I'm hearing a bit of a whistling noise in there, that, that's new, so try charging it again and see what it does. Because that has changed. Oh, 
it's going. <laughs> well, there was obviously loose wire or something but that is now going again. That's cool. Oh well, we better put it back together. I carried this in the boat and it was it was bouncing about a bit, so possibly it's knocked something loose, but none of the plugs felt loose or anything. I'll just plug everything back in and after I connect each plug I'll test it again. I'll start with that one. Yep, all good. Imagine if it was just a faulty fan or something. Good, it's not the fans. She's all still going. I might have accidentally fixed it somehow, I don't know, but maybe there was a loose wire somewhere. Maybe in that control board. But um yeah, she seems to be going now. Whatever it was. Ah, there. There's something in there. Right, okay, so it's that plug there. Somewhere in there, there's a fault. Yeah, I can't see any corrosion or anything in there. It all looks normal. Might possibly there's a little bit of a a problem in one of these um, sockets it's just not quite contacting properly but if it does it again I'll get another one of these plugs and swap it out because I think it's probably one of those sockets in there isn't quite contacting properly anyway at least we know what the problem is it's not really a major problem it's just a simple plug failure yeah, it doesn't take much. Alright, well that's an easy fix, thankfully. So if you find your delta suddenly doesn't work, take the top off and have a little play with that plug. I don't know how common of a problem that is, but probably not very common. Seems like it's back to normal. I'll put the covers on and test it and make sure everything's working okay.